once heard from a wise human that it is possible to commit no errors and still lose. And even in the case of AMP, sometimes that's true. For example, let's look at the filtering options on my hiking blog. If I pick San Francisco and then easy, my AMP list returns nothing. This isn't because my request wasn't sent or something got lost in the process. This happened because there are no easy hikes in San Francisco. There's just too many hills here. Instead, AMP list returned an empty array. And while AMP list has built-in functionality for a placeholder while it's waiting for data, or a fallback for when something goes wrong, it doesn't really have an option for a successful nothing. So today, I'm going to show you a way to let your users know their request was handled, but nothing matched their criteria. The web has grown quite a bit from static pages. Modern users expect sites to have an almost lifelike response to their interactions. When our pages don't communicate what's going on, users may become frustrated and leave. So let's keep our users informed. I'll start fixing the communication gap by adding a div below my AMP list, and then adding the hidden attribute so that it's hidden by default. Next, I'll include the no results message. Then, I'll add logic to remove the hidden attribute if AMP list returns an empty array. First, I'll bind the hidden attribute, then copy and paste my AMP filtering logic, and then specify that it should only remove the hidden attribute if the length is greater than zero. Amazing, this works. But there's just one more thing I can do to clean up this code. Same as when I'm using JavaScript, I don't want to be writing the same function over and over. And here, I've used the same AMP bind expression twice. So instead of repeating it, I'm going to make it an AMP bind macro. AMP bind macro allows us to define and reuse expressions. And I don't need to import a second script, since it's included in AMP binds functionality. I'll start by adding an AMP bind macro element to my page. I'll give it an ID of filter hikes macro and then copy the filter expression and place it as the value of the expression attribute on AMP bind macro. Finally, I'll replace the bound src on AMP list and the bound hidden attribute on my div with the call to my AMP bind macro expression. And awesome. My code is clean, it works, and it lets my users know what's going on. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see going on by dropping suggestions for future episodes in the comments below.